Hey everyone, it's Onglor. Welcome to the video. Glad to have you here. Today we'll be talking about the Ice King. We'll be seeing exactly what he does and also if this hero is worth using. So let's see what this hero does. Enemies standing on structures affected by base are snared by 15%. Now the commander perk is where things get interesting. Not only are enemies snared by 15%, but also enemies that damage a structure affected by base are frozen for 4 seconds. Each enemy can be frozen once every 15 seconds. So not only is the standard perk good, but the commander perk is amazing. And here's an example of a loadout that I have, along with recycling, so we can get our mats back. As you can see, I have the uh, Ice King supercharged up, and I'm also using Power Modulation, Lofty Architect, Mega Base, Tough, tough Traps, and Hot Fix. I've been using this loadout for quite some time, and it's always treated me right. So we have quite a bit to talk about here when it comes to the Ice King. Is this hero worth using in my opinion most definitely yes he is one of the best constructors in the game and there are quite a few constructors that are very good to use and i used to have this hero in my support a lot because having that 15 percent slowed is really nice and for an example i use him a lot for jailed slash stalls or even if you really want to protect an objective the ice skin is always good to have as a commander or in the support slot right here i am doing a two or 160 mission so the model is going to be 250 and i am soloing it using just kind of a basic gel and the ice king and three traps i could probably get away with two but i just like having the additional open side and having the trap down and a lot of the times i would be putting down the frozen trap ice trap inside the jail to freeze a husk but with the ice king we don't have to do that because as we saw just a minute ago enemies that hit the structure are frozen which is extremely nice because it saves you mats as well now i used i always use the ice king in my constructor loadouts in the support slot which we talked about a little bit which is still really good but ever since ventures rolled around and you really don't have access to a lot of mats, or at least in my case, you just can't go farming up quartz or just, you know, getting quartz regularly. You can't even, like, you know, get some from friends because there's no trading at all. So I've been using Ice King a lot as the commander. And I'll tell you what, it's he's been making missions really simple. And even right here, as you can see, his effect is going to take place. The enemies are going to be hitting the structure, and they are being frozen and i only have wall light because that's all i need as you can see they're being frozen right there so between the husk being stunned and frozen there's really not much they can do to the wall this hero is so good that in my opinion he's really hard not to use as commander because if you're relatively new to the game or even an intermediate player this guy can definitely save you a lot of time and mat time meaning trying to find people to do missing objectives that might be too difficult for you or you might think that could be too difficult because you can just simply gel it like rtds and farm up those pure drop terrain or whatever you need you don't have to wait for a party you can just go and do it yourself and you don't have to worry about spending crystals on traps and things like that you put down one or two traps and boom as you can see here it is definitely doing the job and i highly recommend that you guys use ice king and if you don't like constructors he is still really good and at the end of the mission if you want you can easily just build up to the top and start killing the husk that's what i do if i have some sort of weekly or something i'm doing or some sort of mission adventures i'll just go up at the end and kill the husk so that is my take on ice king i think he's really good and i think you guys should definitely be using him for adventures and other missions that you might find difficult he will definitely make easy all right guys i really want to thank you for watching the video and hope you enjoyed it if this is your first time visiting the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button for more save the world content and also if you enjoyed the video please smash that like button because it would mean a lot to me all right guys i will see you in the next video take care